it's been a long weekend. I uh, spent you know, about half of, uh, or more than half of, of Sunday uh, cleaning a clog in my garbage disposal and then the cleanup from the mess that it caused uh, was a little bit involved and I had to take the time to learn how to work with this uh, garbage disposal unit and, and the plumbing. I thought that I would show a video of, of what I learned and this might be something helpful for those of you that do kitchen work and occasionally get, get clogs and uh, want to take care of them on their own. So here's the, the video describing the uh, garbage disposal system. This is my garbage disposal and it was clogged this morning and this was the uh, clog that was in it. But I want to tell you about uh, the experience I had uh, unclogging it and show you how the system works in general. So if you have a clog, kind of your first thought is, you know, the fast, simple solution. Uh, and oftentimes that's a chemical solution, uh, liquid Drano or something like that. That is a terrible idea if you're dealing with a garbage disposal. And, and the reason for that is the uh, chemicals will sit in that. And when you have to drain the system, which inevitably you're going to have to do, uh, it's actually a, a fairly dangerous uh, situation. So never put chemicals into your garbage disposal. There's a lot of people online that talk about vinegar and baking soda, uh, which at least from my perspective, seems like a lot of nonsense. Uh, it seems, at least from my experience, that the only thing that works really is a mechanical cleaning. Now, the simplest form of mechanical cleaning is this, a plunger. And you take that and you you'd plunge this. And in your standard two sink system, you've got the garbage disposal, another sink. This comes down, they come together, they have a shared trap. So in order to effectively plunge that, you have to fill this sink with water, put the plug in, and hold the plug down while you plunge. And in some cases, that does work. Uh, in the case of my sink, it doesn't. And the reason is that this garbage disposal unit has two outs. One out, which is the sewer, and the other, which is actually not an out, but an in. It's an air vent. And if you follow this over, it goes over to here and comes up to here. This is an air vent and it uh, means that when water is going down or the garbage disposal is running, uh, air is being sucked down to facilitate the, uh, the rate of uh, disposal. So if you have the sink and it's full of water, you plunge. What essentially you're doing is you're plunging water into your air vent and you fill kind of the whole back of your counter with all of the uh, refuse that was in your drain and it does not clean the clog. So let's let's look at the, uh, the drain system here. Uh, we got the sink, got a connector, Here's the disposal unit, there's a motor. There is a, a plug, it plugs into the wall. This is the sewer out, comes over here, connects with this T and then goes into the trap. And this is your other, your second sink. Typically, if you get a clog, the clog is gonna be somewhere in here. Um, in order to get that out, you need two things, well, a couple. One is you need a set of buckets. You're gonna to have to put the buckets under your disposal and under this uh, drain. And what happens is you're going to undo the screws here and here. Well, first off, and always first off, is you unplug the garbage disposal and then you run the wall switch to make sure that it's off. Uh, you could get yourself in fairly significant trouble otherwise. So when you know that the disposal is unplugged, you undo the screw here and on the back side, wiggle this a little bit and water will drain out. Uh, then the next thing you can do is you can disassemble uh, the nut here. 
and uh, loosen the uh, uh, quick release uh, attachment here and then clean the clog out of your drain. Um, if you have to take and dis disassemble this, I think there's a few things that should be discussed. One thing is that uh, there are seals in each of these, rubber seals, uh, plastic seals, another rubber seal in here. You have to make certain that those are in place and are clean. So for example, uh, this uh, faceplate, the faceplate comes off and there's a black rubber seal that sits between, uh, or gasket that sits between this pipe and the interface uh, on, on the garbage disposal. Uh, in order for me to keep that from leaking, I had to go in and clean both sides of, of the attachment and then also clean the seal, just wiping away you know, dirt, water, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, the next thing is when you're putting this uh, back in, both the front and the back, you're going to want to uh, uh, tighten the, both sides kind of evenly, you know, say four turns here, four turns in the back, back and forth. That also seems to be fairly important. Um, the, this part here, actually the uh, this pipe will extend into this. So the interesting thing about it is that if you need to get into here, what you can do is you can undo the faceplate and pull that metal piece back, loosen this quick release, push the tube in, and then rotate it out. And that will let you get into this pipe uh, with a, a long rod and, and push things through or, you know, detach it if you need to. That also means that when you're trying to, say, connect a, uh, connect to a drain, which may be a little bit lower, and this, which is fixed, you can attach this end and this end, and then these two quick, quick releases, which have extra pipe, you can adjust until you get, uh, the, the, the right, uh, kind of slope here and the, the right, uh, uh distance. So this telescopes. Um, now, if things continue to go badly, let's say there's no blockage here, there's no blockage in here, then that means your blockage is actually in the garbage disposal proper. The garbage disposal proper uh, also comes out. And I, I did that today uh, as, as part of kind of my cleaning and maintenance. So you, you have your garbage disposal turned off, you disconnect this pipe, you disconnect the air valve. Now, this uh, sink has the, a flange on it, and that flange uh, you know, connects the, the sink down to the piping system, but this little collar, this little collar is, is a quick release collar, and you can basically take and put a, a screwdriver into this like so and it will ratchet around it takes about uh, it takes about a quarter turn to detach it and once you've done that uh, the disposal unit falls right out and then once it's out and it's unplugged you can uh, go through this inside with your hand or with a uh, wire and, and clean it out and then you just reassemble everything as, as it was. So this is a, a garbage disposal unit. And uh, let's say I've, I've spent the past couple hours learning the ins and outs, and I thought it was something that it's worth uh, posting for, for other people, particularly the, the little tricks I've figured out in terms of the, the telescoping uh, pipes and uh, you know, quick release uh, hinges. So thank you very much for, for your time.